what's going on guys it's your boy revive me and today i'm going to be showing you how to install boxed wine for xbox dev mode for those who do not know boxed wine is an emulator that runs windows applications it could run 16-bit windows applications 32-bit windows application which is pretty cool now before we get into this tutorial what you would need is to have your xbox in dev mode if you do not have dev mode already set up please check the description down below for my video tutorial playlist of all dev mode related things and you'll also be needing to use an external drive or an external usb stick and make sure to properly format it i also have that tutorial down below in the playlist as well all right, so the main thing we need right now is the boxwine.zip. You can find this file over at the Xbox Dev Store, and all you would have to do is at the top, go to Emulators, scroll down to the bottom until you see Boxed Wine. Boxed Wine port, UZWASM, runs 32-bit apps in games on your Xbox. Apps in their folder, dependencies, and etc. need to be zipped. This is an early version, so expect bugs, stutters, and lags. You will need to adjust the frame rate. Now all you're going to do is click on download, and then it should download immediately. And also, if you appreciate Moon Power's ports, please consider donating at their Ko-Fi right here. And make sure to support the devs if you appreciate all the work that they do. I bet. So once you have the boxwine.zip downloaded, Please ignore the Space Cadet folder up here. This will be my 32-bit application that I'm going to test out for this app. But if you were to test out any other applications, just make sure it's a 32-bit executable file, an MSI file, or a .bat. And what you would need to do is make sure that that is compressed into a .zip. If it's not, it will not work. So please remember to do that before testing out your application. All right, so before we actually get to the installation of Boxed Wine, what we're going to do is set up our external folder for our 32-bit application. So what I'm going to do is right-click. I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm just going to name this Boxed Wine. And then I'm just going to drag my .zip of my 32-bit application right into it. And then all you need to do is simply just drag and drop this right into your external drive and you should be good to go. All right, so now that we got our external folder set up for our application, now what we got to do is simply install Boxed Wine. But since when you first download it, it is a .zip. So what we got to do is right click on this. We're going to make sure to extract it to its own folder. I bet so once you extract the box wine.zip into its own folder, you should see all these things inside of it. The main thing we gotta do is install this boxed wine MSIX bundle. And also we need to make sure to add the X64 dependencies right into it inside the dev portal. And now I'm gonna show you an example of how to do that. So let's get right into it. Now I'm gonna show you the remote access at the bottom. So simply click on remote access settings. And what we're gonna do is enable the Xbox dev portal. What this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an the authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right. Now that we're on the computer, what we're going to do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on Advanced and Proceed. All right, so once you get to the Xbox device portal, all you have to do is underneath My Games and Apps, click on Add. Now we're just going to go to that folder where we have our Box One MSIX bundle. We're going to drag it right into it. Click on Next. Now it's going to ask you to choose any necessary dependencies. So we're going to go back to that folder, go to the Dependencies folder, go to X64. And then we're just going to add them one by one because if you try to drag and drop all of them, they just tend to only add one at a time. So please make sure to add all five of these or you might end up having issues. 
And then once you do that, all you gotta do is click on start. Give it some time to download. I bet, so once it says package successfully registered, all you gotta do is click on done. Now you can exit out the device portal and now we're gonna go back to our Xbox and finish up the setup. All right, bet, so what you wanna do is first you wanna head over to box wine, press the select button on it, go to view details, and make sure this is set from an app to a game. If it's already set to a game already, then please don't do anything. And then back out of this. I bet. And then all we're going to do is open up Boxed Wine. And once you get here, you can mess around with the OS and Wine. You could adjust the graphic settings, the performance settings, also the sound and execution. And there's also environmental variables. Another thing I'm going to add is if you're trying to run something and you're having performance issues, what you could do is adjust the frame skip. And also within the graphic settings, you could change the renderer, mess around with it until you find your sweet spot. But at the moment, I'm not going to touch anything, so I'm just going to click on these again. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to open up your 32-bit applications. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show an example of me running 3D Space Cadet Pinball. So we're going to select Select Zip. I'm going to look for my external drive. I'm going to go into that boxed wine folder that I created earlier. And then now you should see your 32 bit application pop up. And then all I'm going to do is select it, give it a moment, and you should see a pop up saying file selection. File selected, and then it's going to tell you what you have selected. All we're going to do is simply select launch boxed wine. Now just give it a moment. I bet so now that this has opened up, the application is not going to start immediately. So what you have to do every time is at the bottom left, click on start. Click on run. And then at the top, go to browse. And then once this pops up over here by the username, click on the drop down arrow. Give it a moment to load. Now what you want to do is select this dash right here. Now the only folder you would need to go to is this MNT. Go to the drive underscore D. And then just like that, you should see your application that you selected as the zip. So we're gonna click on this. Now you should see your executable, pinball exe. Click open. And then now you can click okay. Now once you do that, just give it a minute for your application to start. And just like that, we got 3D Pinball for Windows loaded up on Xbox Dev Mode using Box Wine. Now if you guys tell me down below any of the applications that you have gotten running and applications that do not work, if you let me know, I'll add them to a compatibility list so that we can figure out everything that does work and doesn't work within this application. Also, another thing I forgot to add is there is no controller bindings for this at the moment. So what you would have to do is if you want to use your applications, you will need to plug in a keyboard and go on from there. And that's pretty much about it. Hope this video helped. If it did, please give it a like and follow for more. And I hope to see you guys on the next one.